fans who know their boxing. That seems a huge motivation in this fight. And Adam Smith has brought together some of the harshest judges of them all now, the professionals, to deliver their verdict. Adam. Thanks very much, Paul. Well, joining me to discuss Nassim Muhammad's biggest ever fight, leading trainer Jimmy Tibbs, former world featherweight champion and legend Barry McGuigan, <laughs> and top journalist Steve Bunce, who's known Nassim Muhammad for many, many years. Steve, why is Barrera the acid test? Because he's, without doubt, the most formidable opponent Naz has come up against in 35 pro fights and 60-odd amateur fights, and he wants it. It's in Barrera's backyard. He's a great fighter. He's a classic Mexican. <coughs> and it's a fight we've been waiting for for four or five years. That's why he's a test. Jimmy, he's got heart, skill, bags of experience, ring craft, the complete package. Barrera, as you said, has been in the best in the world for years, been at the top, very courageous. I can see it being a great fight. And Barry Naz has never met anyone like Barrera with those credentials. I don't think he's ever met as live an opponent before. He's fought fighters, he's fought many world champions and guys that were maybe just a little bit past of it. But he's never fought a guy who, who has got the ability to really live with him for 12 hard rounds. And this guy can. And if Barrera can get over the first couple of rounds, the longer the fight goes, the more you've got to favor Barrera. This is a really tough acid test. His status, Steve, comes from the war he had with Eric Morales. But how will that have affected Barrera? That was some 14 months ago now. Now, he's had a couple, I think, or even three fights since then. He's not even broken a sweat in those fights. I've seen them. I mean, with, with, I think we're divided here whether he's left something in that ring on that fantastic night in Vegas. If he hasn't, then he's going to give Naz a bigger test than I think most people expect, including Naz. Jimmy, that was a thriller, wasn't it? And it was, it was Mexican machismo, which he's going to bring again <coughs> to the ring in Vegas. A great fight, I thought, and I thought he won it quite comfortably, even though it was a very, very hard fight for 12 rounds. Um, he'll, have all the, uh, as he'll have all the support there, but I don't think that'll phase Nez. I think that he's, this, this fight's so important to him, um, and he's, uh, he'll have his mind set right for the fight, but the people he's got around him, his trainers now, and the team that he's got around him, a good professional team, I just think that nothing will get in his way and he'll make any mistakes. Mind you, I think it's going to be hard, and I think it will go the distance, but I can see uh, uh, Nez on a late stoppage. The preparation for this, and for all big fights, is obviously crucial. They've been in different areas. Barrera up in the Big Bear Mountains in the snow, and Nassim Hammer down in Palm Springs, all that luxury. He's got it right. <laughs> Fortunately, um, not, not very many of us know. I mean, we know that um, Barrera's at altitude, and we know that it's fairly nice where he is. Now, we have this impression about um, Palm Springs, a millionaire's playground. There's Bob Hope House up in the mountains. It's gorgeous. The best restaurants in the world, the best shopping centers in the world, and the best places to stay in the world. My understanding is that Naz is spending lots of time with his, with, with his Koran and lots of time with his different trainers. Morris Court, a guy from Manchester, former British champion. His new trainer, Oscar Suarez, taking incredible walks. And I think they're called the Idlewild Mountains there behind Palm Springs. If he's doing that for three or four hours a day, we're looking at a different Naz, a different mindset. If he's doing that, and if he's staying out of the pool halls, which he loves, and he's staying out of the McDonald's, which he loves, and the Burger Kings, and the shops, then I think his head will be absolutely perfectly focused. Bro is very, very calm and composed, and as, of course, as confident as ever. Who's winning the psychological battle? Well, that's, a very, that's going, to play, going to play a major important part in the fight, because remember, Naz always had this intimidating effect on his opponents, and Barrera's even said, you know, I don't know how it's going to affect me. But when it comes to the night, and there's thousands of partisans screaming, roaring in Mexicans. I think Naz is going to feel the one who's out in the cold, really. Barrera's been using weights as well. First time at Nine Stone, is that going to be the crucial factor? Well, it's, you, you have to, anybody that turns their back on the weight factor here is ignoring one or two, you know, yeah. one or two factors. Major factor. There has to be a factor here. You know, to, to people like me, and to people like Jimmy, we can put on three or four pounds, it's not the end of the world. But to people like Barrera and people like Nassim Hamid, it, it could be the end of the world. And for Barrera to move up, I think he's doing it incredibly professionally. Instead of just bulking up by dieting and dieting, he's actually going to use some weight, get his weight up, and what would be interesting is to know what he came down from, Adam. So how does Barrera negate Hamid's power? Has he got to exert pressure from the opening bell, Jimmy? I think from the opening bell, he will put pressure on uh, Hamid, uh, try to close him down, uh, try to stop him working, try to stop him boxing. Uh, but I think that Bar uh, Na uh, Na Hamid will be too smart for him with his jab, side-to-side -side movement, maybe a little bit too powerful to punch 
great puncher. The hammered camps said they're expecting pressure mm. yeah. and that he's going to box on the counter. Yeah. Well, I think that, 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 that there's two ways this fight can go as far as Hammond is concerned. For me, he either stands out and boxes the way he boxed in that brilliant performance against Jose Bidet, which I think was by far his best performance. Despite all the champions of the I thought that was a marvellous display. He either starts that way, and it's the way I'm hearing from the, the stories I'm hearing from Emmanuel Stewart, that to me appears to be the way he's going to do it. Small try and, yeah. try and prize him up and use the perimeter of yeah. the ring, box him, keep him, draw him, draw him out of his cake and then nail him. Yeah. Or he'll walk out and try and blast him out. Now if he doesn't blast him out and six, seven rounds into the fight, he runs out of steam, he's in for a hard night. He could get beaten, he could get badly yeah. beaten. That's, that's the two sides of it I see. I still pick Hammond. I think Hammond's yeah. got the power. And he's just got that winning mentality. And we've seen with Kevin Kelly and Augie Sanchez, when they close the range down, back hammered up, and he gets hit. Mm. Tactics could go out the window again, once again, back to Brendan England, the Winkerbank style. Now, a lot of people are uh, just assuming that Naz is going to come out and, and the fight will be dominated by his tactics. But we have Barrera here. We have a guy who's intelligent enough to have, to have nearly passed an architectural degree. He studies whilst mm. he's on the road. We have a guy here who's been through, I think, 56 fights, uh, fighting, as Barry said, from the age of 15, who's been in something like 13 or 14 world title fights against something like 11 world champions. We have a guy here that's got a terrific boxing brain. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I think that before we start assuming and trying to second-guess what Naz is doing, we have to think what mm -hmm. Barrera's doing. And I don't think mm -hmm. under any circumstances Barrera will allow himself to be a target for, for, for the first three rounds. And you said something interesting there, Barry. You talked about the Jose Badillo mm -hmm. night. Well, the guy that rescued Badilla that night will be in Barrera's corner, yeah. Manuel mm. Maldonado. Now, he knows better than mm. most trainers the power that Naz has. Yeah. I, I, could, I could see Barrera coming out here like one of those classic Mexicans with nothing to hit for three or four yeah. rounds and slowing the pace right down. Yeah. And that could frustrate Nassim. Well, this is the thing. You see, if you look at... Uh, uh, believe me when I'm saying that Naz has already said he watched him against Junior Jones, his chin hung out, he hit him, he said, wide open for the right hand. I think Naz is quicker than Barrera, and Barrera is aware of that. And I think the way he's going to approach the fight, the only one way he can fight, is to put, the way to beat Nassim Hammond is to put him under sustained pressure. And just uh, clever, intelligent pressure, sustained, but kept on, keep on top and keep your head moving, hands up tight, push him, push him, push him. Could run out of gas. That's the idea. Drop. It's a fascinating yeah, but as battle. Bar as Barrera, as Barrera, as good as he is, ever fought any other way? Well, that's an, uh, yes, yeah, he, he comes forward, the other way. He, he, he comes forward, he has a little movement yeah. from the top half now and then, yeah. but he generally closes his man down, left jab, right cross, yeah. left hook to the body. Yeah. Well, that's left right. jab, right that's cross, right. left hook to the body. But he's good at it. He, he, Jimmy, he's, he's 100% as a su super bantamweight. Yeah. But that's now he's fighting someone who's coming down from yeah. 10 stone yeah. to 9 stone. I mean, he comes round and round and round in a circle, one. and it always yeah. comes back to power. It comes back to power. He's spectacular and wins emphatically. Where do we rate Nassim Hamad in history? As good as you? Oh, you've got to you've got to rate him as one of the one of the greats. He's he's he really is. I, I think he's an exceptional fighter. I have no hesitation in saying that he's an exceptional fighter, one of the best we've seen in 30, 40 years. We've got to deal with with Barrera now. If he gets beat, a lot of people are out there saying that Barrera could make <coughs> Hammond look silly. How would he react if he gets knocked out? Well, uh, listen, he'll he'll react like he reacted the first time he ever got put on the floor uh, as a pro against a Daniel Lissier. He got up, he held his hands up, he said it was a great shot. We were waiting for him afterwards. We all thought he'd make excuses. He said, no, it was a great shot to put me down. I think he'd react the same way. If Naz gets beat, I don't think you're going to see him creeping out like Floyd Patterson did no. against Ingram Johansson. I think he'll go to the press conference, all bashed up, with his new teeth all ruined, and I think he'll say, <laughs> quite honestly, <laughs> I'll be back. Because I think, you know, one thing about Naz, he's got an enormous heart and something yeah, a bit lower, yeah, and they're yeah, big yeah. as well. I agree with you on that. But yeah. Nassim Hamid is unpredictable. Yeah. Which fighter will we see on the night, Jimmy? I, <clears throat> I believe, as I said earlier on, that Na uh, Naz will beat him, but it won't be easy. Um, I can see it being a great fight. Uh, everyone should switch on and watch it because it's going to be <laughs> one hell of a fight. How many rounds? I think it'll be a points uh, for Naz or a late knockout for Naz. And I think Naz will go on to be one of the all-time greats after this. Will it be his most explosive and best performance? I think to beat him, no matter how he does it, it will have to be his best performance because this is his best ever yeah. opponent. Uh, I think Naz will win. I can see it being a controversial stoppage yeah. with, with Barrera on his feet, but I can also see Naz on the floor at least once, twice, or even yeah. three times. First time he's clipped, I think he'll go over. Is this the beginning of the legend, possibly? I think this is the beginning of a new era for Naz. I think this, this fight 
can lift them up to another level. Mm. I think that it's going to be a dynamite fight. I think if Naz, as I say, going back to what I said, if he didn't get him out in the first three rounds, this is a fight he can lose. But I'm going to stick with it. You can put your neck on the chopping block and go with, I'm going to go with the pinch. Thank you very much, Barry, Steve Bunce and Jimmy Tibbs for joining us. I know you'll all be watching. It's going to be an absolutely terrific battle. Back to you, Paul. Adam, thanks very much indeed. Superb. If